good establishment if you're ever in Alpine and want something to eat. What's up, guys? <laughs> Ben's here now. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do some uh, flipping now that it's like 90 degrees and yeah, probably not gonna find anything, but we're gonna try. And then tonight we're going out to look for alternate again or anything else we can find. Go ahead and hit this rock up, Steven. Sick. Is that a logic board? That's something. That's a logic board. Nothing under it. Like an actual, like, old dude that you can tell is an old thing. I've seen a couple on the railroad that were probably, like, they looked like they were probably pretty old. Board. This one looks pretty good. They look real good. They all look good. Is this where the milk shed was? Uh, yeah. Under that one. When I first came here, there was an Aatrox basket right there and I almost stepped on it. Oh, nice. It's way too hot to be doing this, but we're doing it anyways. Yeah. Like I said, I just wanted to show you it. Because I'm real proud of it. Him. Pack rat! <laughs> There's a snake skeleton in there. Or something. You see it back there? Yeah. Big. Alright, got some more cross tie action going right here. There's a beetle. This is the little boy cross tie. This one goes that way. No. He's gone. There's a scorpion. Yeah. Is this like actually the first time you flipped it and he's not been there? Coach? Yeah. Nice. Cool. That's the first thing that's not a tantilla that I've seen here. Very cool. A hot boy. That's a good looking Look catch. at his belly. Yeah. That's crazy. He's banded too. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love that I got that on video. Same. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, Anyways. All right, guys. Here's another look at this coach whip Ben just flipped. Pretty cool that we actually got something after all that flipping. I thought we were wasting our time, but pretty cool. We're going to let this guy go. This is a kind of dull for for the coach whips around here this is kind of a dull one but he does have a nice pretty pink belly they're usually that really salmon pink color all the way around the body uh this kind of this brown on top is kind of atypical for here but we're gonna let this guy go and keep heading to where we're going we're gonna release this coach whip back under his uh railroad tie here slurp and get back on the road all right you're good Diesels. How's it going? Nice. Little desert box turtle hanging out here in the road. It's kind of hot for him. Yeah, it <laughs> is. Like, the ground's real warm. Oh my. All right, guys, here's another look at this little desert box turtle we just cruised. It's real hot outside, so it's kind of weird that he's out tooling around, but I mean, they are adapted for desert life, so we're gonna get this guy out of the road and keep moving. Yep. Look at his jaws, that's kind of weird looking. Yeah. Maybe I'm just used to Easterns. Interesting. She's a really ugly looking box turtle. Her shell's nice. <laughs> How dare you say that to a young lady? <laughs> box turtle this one's big he's so round he's got a nice faded head going wow Even those forearms. that's nice dude yeah. holy crap Ow. this thing is freaking awesome second desert box turtle of the day nice red eyes nice red feet i've never seen anything like that in these guys we're gonna get this guy to the road and keep moving our end goal is to get to some cuts tonight and shine for Alterna, but if we keep cruising stuff in the grasslands, that's cool too. Same. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we're hiking this cut tonight. It's got real big faces. You can see that one right there. I'm facing that way. <laughs> Anyways, this cut's got real big faces. It's long. It's got a nice wide top here. So what's going to happen is Ben's going to work the top and Steven and I are each going to work a face 
and hopefully we're gonna see some snakes tonight. Uh, Sullivan and his dad are also in town and they're on another cut. So if they don't find something, maybe we will and vice versa. So I will check in with you guys if we have any luck. So since we're uh, mature and reasonable herpers, we found this faded McDonald's sauce that's been sitting on the cup for who knows how long. We're gonna open it. Is that what it's supposed to look like? It looks like it normally does. Oh, that's disappointing. It's still kind of gross. I shouldn't litter. <laughs> we're gonna pick this up and throw it away like responsible people. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so we're gonna step on that on the way back. So he's, he's like, this big. wow, that's a tiny lizard. Look at that, that's a crevice spiny lizard, Scalopris poinsettia, uh, often thought to be one of the main food sources of what we're looking for tonight, gray banded king snake. Well, we just lost our first snake of the night, Ben had a little uh, gray plant rat snake that got away in some rocks, but hopefully that means the snakes are out, we'll see. All right guys, Ben has our first captured snake of the night. Nice little Transpagos copperhead. Ooh, that's a really nice one. Good looking snake. We're just temporarily tapping him, of course. We're gonna release him afterwards, but we're gonna get some photos of him and let him go. All right, guys, here's another look at one of these Transpagos copperheads we found tonight. These guys are, they're pretty similar to the copperheads that we have in Georgia, but they've got some different patterning. They're a little bit different in their behavior and their habits, but really cool snakes, always nice to see. Anyways, we're gonna let these copperheads go after a few photos and keep moving so that's what we can find. All right guys, here's the second Transpecos copperhead been found. Found two of these guys up on top of the rock cut tonight. But this one's a little smaller than the first. I think it's prettier. The other guys don't like this one as much, but I think this one's prettier. But we're gonna take some pictures of this guy and let him go. All right, Ben is killing it tonight. He got a Pictogaster earlier, another brub or a Transpicus Copperhead, and he just spotted a Lepidus up on top of this cut, so we're gonna go check it out. And Lepidus is modeled rock rattlesnakes, for those who don't know. Definitely one of the big game targets out here. Might go as far as to say the, the number two big game target after Alternate. Oh, oh, yeah, dude. Look at those, like, kind of stripiness on the... Wow. That's what the one I found up yeah, here looked like. This looks exactly like the nine mile. Oh, it's not focused. Jesus, guys. Check, check that snake out. That's beautiful. This thing is awesome. Beautiful modeled rock rattlesnake. Little female. All right, guys. Here's one more look at this beautiful modeled rock rattlesnake. This little girl before we release her. But all around a really good looking snake. Definitely got some nice pattern going on there. And uh, always a pleasure to see these guys. We're gonna take some more pictures of her and keep going with the night. All right guys, well the first couple hours of the night went very well. We totaled uh, two, there's a lizard sleeping upside down right there. But uh, we totaled two copperheads, two Transpagos copperheads, a modeled rock rattlesnake, there's a little gecko. That's a, uh, a Mediterranean house gecko. A donkey. Anyways, we totaled, uh, like I said, two copperheads, Lepidus rock rattlesnake, and a uh, Great Plains rat snake that escaped before we could get any photos of it. So uh, we actually decided to move cuts. I'm getting kind of burnt out on that one, and it's getting a little bit late at night. Uh, that cuts on top of a hill, so it cools off a little faster. But uh, we're gonna hit some other cuts now. We're gonna go see how Matthew and his dad are doing tonight, and uh, hopefully we'll see some stuff. <laughs> we just cruised an alterno! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well excuse the uh, the absolute idiocy that went on there for a second. Uh, now that I'm a little more composed, I can show you this snake a little bit better. This is Steven's life for Alterna. Uh, Ben's first light blares. And uh, my first one of the year, so... Heck yeah, my first road cruise alternate too. 
freaking awesome. But we're gonna go show this guy to Matt and uh, keep hunting. All right guys, so here's a look at uh, what it's normally like when you find an Alterna. You find them plastered to this rock face. This is the same one we cruised a minute ago and we're just getting some photos of them right now. But just a perfect snake all around. Really, really nice little female. Couldn't ask for a better textbook light Blair's phase. The Blair's phase is uh, uh, characterized by these larger orange blotches like this. All right, guys, here is another beautiful little gray banded king snake that Matt and his dad found. This one is a little bit darker. This is what's referred to as a dark Blair's phase gray banded king snake. This is another little female. Really, really nice looking snake. Absolutely stunning. And just to show you guys a little bit of the variability in the species, and I don't think it's really hard to understand why they have such a, a very devout following from the herpers out here, because these snakes are absolutely incredible. It has been a heck of a night to get to see two alternate, even though we didn't find this one personally, but true. <laughs> Anyways, the night's coming to an end. We had a really, it's definitely been one of the best nights of herping I've ever had in West Texas. And uh, we're gonna cruise the rest of the way home. And if we see anything else, you guys will know. But the birds are starting to call. Uh, that's how you know it's real late at night. So we are going to call it here pretty soon. And if we see anything else, I'll let you guys know. What is up guys? It is the next day. Uh, I just wanted to, oh, look at that bird. I just wanted to uh, talk about last night a little bit more because I know this, this content's gonna be really different from what I've been uploading for the past couple of months, and I hope it's a good different, like it's not, you know, it's not gonna, you're not gonna get burnt out on it, hopefully. But anyways, last night was freaking incredible. It was definitely one of the best nights I've ever had out here. Um, it definitely makes up for the, the slow two nights that you saw in last video. Um, this uh, We definitely got enough footage last night for a standalone video, so that was cool. And my hope for this summer is to be able to get a standalone video's worth of footage every night. And uh, hopefully I'm gonna get better at actually creating these videos uh, over the summer, over the course of the summer, by doing this every day. And that's my, that's my intent, is to just be able to make better videos with less content. You know, like to turn more, or turn a small amount of content into a full-length video. So you guys can have a full-length video, you know, potentially every day. Um, that would be the best thing, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull that off, but we'll see. Anyways, it was really nice to see all those snakes. Uh, definitely, just it couldn't have really gone better. It was really great to spend that time with some of my good friends, Ben and Steven. Uh, that was Steven's life for Alterna, and he's been working his ass off for that snake for the past five years. Um, he's had some really, really rough luck for the most part, but they are hard snakes to find. They're really hard snakes to find. Um, so, you know, once you break the ice, sometimes they start flowing like a river, and sometimes they're genius. You just have a hard time with them constantly, like me. I mean, I've never... There's people out there who can find an alternate almost every time they go out sometimes. Just, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I'm not that fortunate, so I have to work for mine a little harder. But anyways, I will... Anyways, I'm going out tonight. After I get back to Alpine, I'm going to take a nap. We went back to Sanderson to get Steven's car, but... Um, I'm going to go home, take a nap, and then we're going to get up and herp tonight. And tonight, we're going to be herping in the Davis Mountains. It's real different from what you guys have seen.